So hello everybody. Um, thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to present the latest uh, um, development from uh, Projekman. Uh, we would like to uh, set up uh, a new industry standard for induction motors with our uh, new uh, zero porosity rotor uh, technology, uh, which I will explain uh, in my presentation. So for those uh, they do not know uh, Breukmann, uh, Breukmann uh, is a, a small group in the meantime, uh, um, doing casting uh, for, with PIA together more than 100 years uh, in, in the meantime. Uh, we have uh, four locations uh, in Europe, in Germany, uh, Hungary, and in Poland. And uh, we do have uh, our, our competencies uh, in house, meaning uh, we produce and design all our tools, uh, casting tools uh, we use for productions. And uh, we have uh, CNC and uh, conventional postponed machining uh, in house as well. Um, among uh, to the die casting uh, experience and uh, knowledge over uh, 1000 degrees centigrade uh, melting temperature materials, mainly copper based. Uh, with uh, with uh, our uh, more than 200 employees, uh, we are able to uh, do around the 23, 25 uh, million euro turnover. So what is uh, Bregman doing for, uh, for the electrification for the uh, electric motor? Uh, components and uh, what we are doing here in the uh, Copper Association uh, workshop. Uh, we are concentrating ourselves uh, on the asynchronous induction motor technology as uh, they are the ones uh, needs uh, cast rotor uh, inside. Uh, what um, uh, we were able to uh, manage uh, in the last uh, couple of years, uh, you see here uh, in some milestones, uh, even in 2015, uh, we were able to uh, cast uh, a rotor uh, slot with, uh, with uh, less than 1.2 millimeter. Um, uh, at that time, uh, we were the only one uh, from the uh, European uh, copper rotor casters, uh, they were able to uh, manage uh, this kind of uh, slot width. Uh, 2016 and uh, 2018, we have uh, further developed uh, the technology. And um, by the end of 2018, we were able to cast even uh, less than 0.8 millimeter uh, slot width on a 200 millimeter uh, rotor stack length. Um, I think uh, those they um, appreciate and know the, uh, the casting technologies, um, they appreciate this, uh, this kind of uh, uh, technology and uh, knowledge. Uh, for, uh, for these uh, kind of uh, uh, rotors um, and uh, with our technology, uh, we give uh, a very high, a very wide uh, freedom uh, for the motor designers. Uh, what we give them is, as I said uh, earlier, the very tiny uh, slot uh, with a small uh, radius, uh, radii, um, which uh, is always an aim uh, for, uh, for some uh, motor designers. Uh, we are also able to cast uh, very special uh, slot designs uh, through our uh, technology. As you can see, some some um, uh, examples uh, on the screen uh, here. Uh, they all uh, reinforce the, uh, the the stability of uh, of the end ring, and uh, some uh, magnetic properties um, are improved uh, with this uh, slot design. Uh, what we also uh, do is uh, some some uh, special. Uh, reinforcement uh, of the end ring stability through the, uh, the uh, slot design with this uh, pine tree uh, slot design, or uh, we were able to uh, manage some, some uh, copper beryllium uh, end ring uh, pieces to cast uh, into the, the end ring. 
uh, to uh, to make the the speed uh, uh, higher uh, on uh, on those uh, induction motors we are able to um, manage uh, and uh, produce this uh, uh, zero porosity uh, technology and quality level uh, on copper and in the meantime in uh, aluminium uh, as well so uh, how do we doing it and, and what is the, uh, the uh, meaning uh, ZPR uh, behind it? Uh, we call uh, the technology as laminar squeeze uh, casting uh, because uh, we are filling the slots on a very laminar consistent um, uh, basis. Uh, we have a very high pressure uh, during the casting so it is very close to the squeeze technology and uh, obvious reason this is a casting uh, technology uh, the standard uh, industry um, production of a, of an induction uh, rotor uh, you can see here on the on the left hand side you can uh, also see immediately the the problem and those they are dealing with the uh, induction rotors they know the problem with this uh, uh, technology uh, already that uh, the porosities uh, uh, can be reduced, uh, can be uh, tried to uh, push together, but uh, nevertheless, uh, you will have uh, a very high amount of uh, porosity in your, uh, your rotors because uh, you have uh, some uh, casting gate uh, points, uh, casting gate uh, areas, um, those slots, uh, they are uh, above, immediately above uh, these casting areas, these in-gate areas, they are filled immediately into the, uh, the rotor. Others between the two um, uh, gating areas, they are only filled with the so-called backfilling. And uh, uh, then uh, you can see uh, that um, uh, on areas uh, where, uh, where the, the slots are filled uh, on the, on the backfilling uh, uh, side, there uh, can gases and uh, air not be evacuated and not be uh, eliminated. So Bruckman uh, uses a completely uh, different approach uh, of uh, casting the, the rotors, which uh, we developed in the last couple of years. Uh, as you can see on the on the filling uh, simulation, and this is a, a very real uh, simulation, uh, the the uh, bottom end ring is uh, filled uh, at the first uh, time, and then all the slots are uh, filled in the same time, and uh, even uh, the upper end ring uh, can be um, evacuated from uh, from the gases, uh, and uh, therefore. The result uh, you can see on the right hand side, uh, this is an aluminium uh, rotor, uh, what I'm uh, showing to you here, and uh, the porosity level uh, is just not measurable. So uh, all the uh, all the, the areas uh, which we have uh, measured and CT scanned, uh, they do not have uh, any, any uh, mentioned uh, porosity inside. Uh, this is another uh, picture, this is another uh, uh, record of, of aluminium uh, rotors. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's the A side, the in-gate uh, side, or the B side, uh, uh, the ejection uh, side of the, of the rotor. Uh, in every area on the, on the end ring, we have uh, not seen and uh, you don't see any uh, porosity, so the pictures are quite boring because there is no porosity inside. Uh, we have also uh, made um, a similar uh, test on uh, copper uh, rotors uh, we have uh, produced. On the left-hand side, uh, you can see a uh, copper rotor on the same size uh, produced uh, by another uh, company. Uh, on the right-hand side, it is the same uh, rotor on the same uh, level. Uh, checked uh, as you can see in the middle and uh, you can see the difference. Uh, even the, the B side uh, uh, of this uh, uh, rotor 
Again, we are talking about the same uh, rotor, the same rotor size, the same uh, laminations, uh, just uh, the, the casting tool is different. The casting technology is different. On the left-hand side, the industry standard. Uh, I think this is the one uh, uh, some of you uh, very well known from uh, copper casting. On the right-hand side uh, is cast uh, by Brockman with the ZPR technology. And there is, again, a very boring picture. There is no porosity, no air uh, in the end ring measurable. We have uh, um, uh, checked and seen uh, three major uh, advantages uh, of the of this uh, technology. So the question can be, why is zero porosity uh, so relevant? Why do I need zero porosity if uh, I could uh, live with my uh, induction motors in the last uh, decades, even with porosity? So what's the advantage of it? So the first advantage uh, is uh, uh, the mechanical uh, characteristics. What we have made um, is uh, we have scanned, CT scanned uh, several uh, porosity models, porosity uh, types uh, in rotors, in uh, aluminum cast uh, rotors, uh, some of them made by us, some of them made by uh, some uh, competitors, and uh, we transferred this, this CT scan data into CAD models and uh, made the uh, FEM uh, simulations. Uh, what uh, we can uh, see very clearly uh, on, uh, on these uh, measurements and these uh, simulations that the high speed, uh, the, high, um, the highest uh, or the burst uh, uh, circumferential uh, speed is much higher, uh, even 12.5% uh, uh, higher can be uh, based on the simulation uh, as uh, the one uh, with uh, porosity. So the, the ZPR uh, rotor had a much higher maximum speed than uh, one with uh, with uh, middle or larger sizes of uh, porosities. The other uh, advantage is the higher electrical conductivity. So uh, if you cast uh, uh, an aluminum or a copper uh, rotor uh, on a standard industrial uh, normal way, uh, as shown before, then uh, you are mixing um, the fluid metal, the fluid uh, material uh, with air together due to this uh, very turbulent filling, uh, the material uh, mixes uh, with air and therefore the electrical conductivity of the uh, cast material at the end uh, is much lower than uh, the melted metals uh, at the beginning. So with aluminum, uh, you can go down to 25, 28 mega Siemens per meter. Uh, with copper, you are definitely lower than 50 meter per, uh, per second. Uh, if uh, we have measured uh, the, the rotor bars uh, and the rotor end rings, electrical conductivities um, in the CPR uh, cast uh, rotors, uh, we have seen that uh, due to this uh, very uh, stable filling, uh, due to the uh, very low porosities, the electrical conductivity is much, much higher. It's much closer to the theoretical um, uh, conductivity of these uh, materials. So this gives you also uh, an advantage of uh, this technology. And uh, the third and Maybe for, for, uh, for the automotive uh, sector, one of the largest um, uh, advantage is a process uh, stability. So if you are uh, using uh, an electric motor with uh, some randomly shaped uh, and randomly distributed uh, porosities, then every single rotor you are using in your production uh, is a unicat. So every single one has different uh, porosities, therefore different mechanical and uh, electromagnetical uh, performances uh, on the motor level. Of course, if you do not have any porosities in your rotor, then from the casting point of view, the, every single rotor 
uh, has the same quality, uh, the expected uh, quality level, and therefore the expected and uh, measurable motor performance will be always the same coming from the rotor casting point of view. So all uh, these uh, three advantages, uh, once again, uh, in a summary, superior mechanical characteristics, uh, higher electrical conductivity, and uh, the maximum process stability coming from, uh, from the casting point. Uh, maybe one more um, interesting information, uh, which uh, we have uh, uh, made uh, together with uh, uh, the University in uh, Dresden, that uh, we have cast uh, um, a special copper alloy uh, also uh, with, uh, with our uh, technology. And uh, the important and uh, um, very interesting uh, information was uh, same rotor size, same um, overspeed uh, tests, uh, uh, maximum speed, uh, that uh, of course, uh, this special copper alloy uh, had a much, much less uh, elongation. So it was almost not measurable uh, on the elongation side. And it had a 25% uh, higher uh, circumferential speed as a bursting speed uh, by uh, having uh, just 0.3% uh, uh, lower efficiency on the motor level. So if you are interested on, uh, on high speed uh, applications uh, on that um, uh, particular motor size, it was a, it was a, a bigger 160 millimeter uh, OD uh, rotor size, uh, uh, then, uh, then a copper alloy uh, can help uh, for sure uh, together with, uh, with our uh, technology. Okay, so uh, here some um, um, partners, uh, key partners from us. Uh, we are working with uh, uh, European uh, funds uh, also uh, together. Uh, of course, uh, one of our key partners is the Copper uh, Institute. And um, we are uh, working on, on uh, several uh, universities and institutes uh, together. Uh, we have so very high number of, uh, of European funded uh, projects uh, as well. So we are very keen on, on new developments and, uh, and new uh, areas to, uh, to cover. So thank you very much uh, uh, for your uh, uh, time and uh, to be able to uh, present uh, here. If you have any questions, I'm, uh, I'm happy to 